Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 18th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit here in the US dollar. We are down 0.25%. US dollar, uh, US dollar index has been appreciating today. That has worked against this as well. This was a very overstretched and needed a pullback. At this point, we are targeting the middle of the bullish band here, roughly at 1385. That is where we will see some support. If we drop below the 20 exponential moving average right here, We'll open, that opens the door to the 40 and the 50, and that has been major support for several months now. So expect a bounce from either the 20 or the 40 or the 50 moving average. Technical indicators like the MACD and the Stochastic are turning around quite aggressively. So there is most likely going to be um, quite a lot of bearish momentum in this currency pair the next few trading days. But this is the opportunity basically to buy it at these dips because it's bouncing off these moving averages. So the medium term target is 1.4 for this currency pair. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. You can see that we have tried to um, pierce the 300 moving average here. We did it yesterday and today and now we fell back underneath the 300 moving average. At this moment, we most likely will see a pullback towards the 200 moving average around 105, 119. You can see that the technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. We are very overstretched here. We're way outside of the bullish band. So we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band here, which is right at the 200 moving average. So a drop from where we are at the moment down so roughly 0.79%. And at this point, it looks like we are slowly in changing direction in this currency pair. We were in a massive downward uh, trend for a very long time since basically March last year, all the way to here to January uh, 2001. And now it looks like we are trending. We are at least testing the 300 moving average. A break above that, well, then we are most likely going to trend the other way. So let's look at a euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have fallen quite uh, aggressively today. We were down roughly 0.5% when it was most. We are trading underneath the 100 moving average. Last time we did that was basically over here. We fell all the way down to the 150 moving average where we found major support. You can see here, we have some way to go until we reach the bottom of the bullish band at roughly 11.99. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. So expect more bearish momentum uh, in this currency pair. But 150, last time we touched it, we, we were there, we basically bounced and rallied quite significantly, roughly 1.68%. So that is probably a, a possibility to buy it there. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We can see that we have this massive rally here. It was expected for this to pull back. We did pull back today towards the 20 exponential moving average. We are trading now at 0 0.77, uh, 51, but the 20 exponential moving average right here has proven to be quite a lot of uh, support. So it may well be that we just fell towards this 20 and then we are going to continue rallying to the upside. However, if we do so, just keep in mind that we are at 869 here in RSI. We are very close to the top of the bullish band. So I would expect this to fall towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at least. So around the 50 moving average before we see this turnaround. A break below this level here that opens the door to the very low of the Bollinger Band and that is basically these previous lows here. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We have rallied all the way up towards the 50 moving average, which was expected. That was basically the middle of the Bollinger Band here. If you manage to break above here, then we may go all the way to the top of the Bollinger Band, which is also the previous highs here were roughly 1186. But yes, we could do that, but I expect this just to be a short-term rally 
and we'll probably stay here for a while until these indicators are turning around and then we'll go lower. We have been in a downtrend and these uh, moves to the upside have actually been selling opportunities. So 50 moving average is um, basically you have a lot of selling occurring here at the 50 moving average. So it may well be that we'll just turn around here and head towards the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.